doing? It's old Raptor Jesus here. Sorry for all my squeaky chairs. <laughs> We're about back here with my uh, my outdoor great outdoors map, and uh, I am gonna actually uh, zoom in a bit. And uh, I decided to split each of these hexes into three eight mile hexes. So they're originally 24 miles. So now they're going to be, you know, zoom in a little bit. So use kind of the rules cyclopedia uh, hex distance just to make things a bit easier on myself when I'm doing up this campaign. So now I have to go through, of course, save. Now I have to go through and kind of change the terrain a little bit and modify it since a little bit more zoomed in. I like this uh, more closer zoom level. It's good to use the 24 mile hex zoom when you're just eyeballing your campaign a bit. But this gives it a little bit more purse. This is like the more uh, what the player side of the map will probably be. With these 8 mile hexes, since you know you can move like 3 of these a day, that's like a good number to give players uh, to play around with when they're traveling the map. I'm not too strict on the hex crawl aspect of things. I just try to uh, keep things interesting in describing the terrain they're traveling through rather than making it more board gamey, but that also works for some groups, I think. I think when you're first starting out and you start to get like the flow of things, so I think the exploration of the wilderness is extremely exciting, it can be anyway. It certainly can be more lucrative depending on what uh, you're running across. Granted there won't be like, you know, orcs and such for this campaign map, because it's going to be more of a... Uh, what would be, I guess, cinematic, re what I would call cinematic realism for this. So, you know, you're not going to be running across goblins and such. You're going to be running across banditos and bandits and uh, despicable cattle barons and outlaws and such. But the stats of your flavor of D&D uh, can also be helpful in just rebranding things, especially if you're doing more flying by the seat of your pants and actually preparing a campaign. I'm more of on the, I like to prepare things firsthand. I don't really like flying by the seat of my pants too much. <laughs> I guess that works for some people. It just depends on what you're comfortable with as a DM, but I think if you're a newbie, you should try to prepare as much as possible and even if you don't use the things you prepare at least you have it for later and you can pull it out like it's always good to have a couple dungeons in your back pocket in case there's like a, a random uh, layer or something you need to like put somewhere you know, who knew you were going to have a, a bunch of cyclopses living seven miles from the party <laughs> In case something like that happens, you have a Cyclops layer, for instance. Or at least a layer that can be adapted, adapted for a Cyclops if you need be. So yeah, I'm of the mind that there isn't much uh, random encounters or anything. that you should be have already like kind of prepared a little bit. You, know, you roll up your random encounters for that and then you prepare those encounters so that when 
if a random encounter does happen, you have something to pull back on. Trying to make this mountain pass a little bit more closer in than so wide open. You know, the worldographer will actually does a pretty good job of deciding what should be in each kind of smaller hex when you zoom it in. But it's still good to like kind of shore it up a little bit here and there. I'll probably go back and then change everything I just did. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like that, you know what I mean, fellas? a little bit. I don't know why I made them so thin over there. Kind of funny. I like my mountains thick, fellas. <laughs> So I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos, and if you like them, uh, make sure you're subscribed to get more of my future con con content, fellas, alright? It really helps me out with the feeding the algorithm gods, because they're voracious beasts. See ya. Alright, I guess that's the rest of the video, fellas. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I hope you like my video. If you want to see more of this stuff, please uh, subscribe. I hope you guys uh, have a good game next time you play, and keep your shield arm strong, alright?